what's up you guys welcome back if you're new welcome and uh it's it's part two we're tackling the desk today oh i'm scared okay so um i i had some stuff like stuck behind me in the chair so i've kind of pulled that out we're gonna sort through that and see what i want to keep what i'm not gonna keep all that jazz um i did just film uh <laughs> the alien ghoul ready with me. So it, my nose is still a little pink and my brows are still a little purple and there's still a little bit of under eyeliner. I'm fine. <laughs> Just, I'm a mess. Definitely need to scour my skin though because like, it's not reading on camera, but like there's still a lot of pink through here. Like, I hope I didn't stain myself. I might have, oh well. Anyway, welcome to being an MUA, but having to work a regular job during the day. <laughs> it's great. All right, let's get into it. Um, some of this stuff I'm gonna be saving, some of it I'm not trying to get my makeup area kind of tackled so I can start packing it up and taking it down to Aunt Judy's. So <sighs> soon we'll be filming down there and I'll have like a totally different setup than what I've got going on here. Like I'm getting rid of this desk because it's big and it's bulky and I don't want to deal with it. Okay. So right off the bat, we have one of the Glam Light Hershey Kiss collab palettes. These were awful. I had a problem with every single one of the little mini palettes that was in the entire collection trash um also the lunar beauty outer dimension this was supposed to be a contouring palette but it really only works if you're extremely light which i am but honestly i think i used this once and i really just didn't care for it i'd rather use my kimchi and i think this is over a year old so we're gonna dump it okay up next this is all stuff that i had in the chair behind me by the way uh, we've got the BH Sweet Shop Bubblegum. This is their, their blue palette. I freaking love this palette, so I'm actually going to keep this. Their Sweet Shop formula is really, really good. And then uh, the Nomad Monteverde. Hello. Y'all know I'm keeping Nomad. Not even a question. All right. Uh, CoverGirl Clean Professional. Uh, I don't even know how old this is. I really don't. So we're going to throw that away. Glamlight Chucky palette. Now this was just like last Halloween that they launched this. Um, honestly, I used it once for the video and I was not impressed. I can't remember if it was Death Duo's part, but one of the shades, like I had issues with it. Like it was super patchy, which seems to be like the current theme for me in Glamlight is a lot of it is like just their formula is not what it used to be. And also they keep doing random like horror collabs and I don't understand. It, it, like, they've completely changed what their brand is about, and, like, I loved what their brand was about. Like, it was, like, cutesy food items, and now it's, like, horror stuff, but it's, like, they're spending more money getting the rights to do the collabs than they are on the quality of the products, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I think that's what's going on. Just, yeah. Like, the highlighters are still good, but the eyeshadow formula is all over the place. This is going in the trash. Um, uh, okay. Falling Into You again, CXC Beauty... And the Okavango Safari palette. These are definitely being saved. Okay, we got two more. We got the Ultraviolet. And I don't remember which one this one is. I don't remember, but it's purple and it's CXC and I'm keeping it. Okay. It's Bute. Um, I think I actually got this in a box maybe. I don't remember buying this. Maybe I did. I don't know. Like, it's a good fall palette. Might keep that one. And Beauty Bay. I actually really liked these. I got this one and uh, the, like, purpley blue one. These were really good. I'm going to keep these. Uh, some skincare. Number seven. Uh, I was actually sent this an influencer to try out, and it was really nice. I really, I like number seven. So that's definitely going down to Aunt Judy's, and then she's probably going to try and steal it. Okay, Watch. And then we have the lavish collection um i remember i was really mad at the highlighter for this one but i can't remember if i had any issues with the palette itself and i know that this just launched this year so i'm gonna hold on to it maybe i need to try it again because i don't remember if i liked it or not okay kimchi so effing bright palette that actually launched recently and i just did uh my alien look with that so we're gonna hold on to that uh wigs and grace wig care guide I'm actually going to hold on to one of these. I probably have several of them floating around, but I would like to hold on to one just to remember what I'm doing. Okay, Ace Beauty Highlighter Palette. Um, I 
seem to remember liking this one. I think I got it in a boxy charm box. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Well, you know what? I gotta hold drawer highlighters though. Do I need this? I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Uh, Bella Beauty Bar. Star Crossed Lovers. Now, this is like a really pretty, like, pink palette. I think I did like one video with this. And then I never touched it again. And I can't remember if I had an issue with it or not. So I'm gonna hold on to it, try it again, and then we'll see. That might end up going in the trash. Okay. Ofra Midi Face Palette Light. Um, I think I got this in a boxy charm and I just used it for that one video. Uh, the highlighter is stunning. What is that? Star Island? I might keep it just for that highlighter because I don't have that on its own. But the contour parts of it? Meh. I don't need it. Okay. What do we have over here? Oh, the, the Sunset Dreams, the orange blush palette that they just launched this year. That is stunning. I love an orange blush. We're keeping that. Uh, the Frosting Highlight Trio. Keeping that. That just launched like not too long ago. Ooh, the Delancey. The fancy Delancey. We're keeping those. Like, hello, purple duochromes. <laughs> no way I'm not keeping that. that in my duochrome drawer. Okay. Uh, we have the Give Blush Compacts. Got the purple and the orange. Keeping both of those. These are actually recent launches. I have my, my powder brush that I put powder on my face on while I had the uh, red foundation on and now it is stained red. Um, I have a bunch of brushes that actually are on this desk that need to be washed. So I'm just going to start a brush pile behind me now that I've got that cleared off. And we're gonna we're gonna put all of our little brushes over there that need to be cleaned, which is like a big chunk. <laughs> Got one handful right here. Okay, Glam Light Rick and Morty Highlighter Trio. This is very very stunning. Like I said, their highlighters are bomb, but their eyeshadow formula is all over the place. Um, let's see. Okay, I think these are like sugar pill lashes. What do we have over here? Okay, some. So my little feather lashes. I haven't used these in a long time. We're uncovering things. We're discovering things. Isn't it magical? Got some boxes for lashes. Uh, my blush brush needs to be washed. Um, what's this? Okay, the Summer of Love palette from Trixie Cosmetics. Keeping that one. Ooh, purple lashes. Gotta keep those. Let's see. Postcard. Oh! My, uh, my winner, winner, chicken dinner postcard. Throwing that one away. I'm only allowing myself to keep the postcards from them that have, like, handwritten messages to me on them. That's my, that's my rule there. I'm gonna stick to it. Alright, so we got some more lashes. Y'all know I love some funky lashes. Um, beauty sponge. That needs to be cleaned. I don't even remember if I liked this, though. I don't think I did. I'm just gonna throw it away. My, my beauty sponge is getting old and needs to be replaced, but I've been trying to find like a cheaper option than this one because this one's like $18. And uh, so far, not finding good options. I'm just not. I'm gonna have to break down and buy that. Uh, Uma Beauty Honey Honey Blush. I was so excited for these, but they are way too dark for me. And honestly, they're kind of underpigmented, which you would think would be fine since it's, you know, too dark for me, but like, I don't know, I just really did not like these. I have Fair Lady. I think this was actually like the lightest one that they advertised too. And it's still, look how dark that is. That's like a contour shade. Like, that was nuts. So I'm gonna throw those away. I was not, I was not pleased with their performance. Which is crazy, because I love Uma Beauty, but those weren't it. Uh, CXC, oh, this is the Sea Peach blush. I actually use that quite a bit. We're gonna save that. The Sweetener Foundation. Keeping that because that's too expensive to throw away and I just bought it, so no. Uh, 
from my Thaler contour. Is this the... Okay, this is the old one. Like, I am hitting pan hard on that one. I have another one. I'm just gonna throw this one away. She's... She's done her part. And my contour brush. Okay, I found one of my... I had one reindeer ear over here. And I did not know where this was. It was buried under a whole stack of things. So I can be a little reindeer come Christmas time again. Yay. Hey, main squeeze from ColourPop. I don't even remember using this. Did I ever? Yeah, okay. I'm seeing signs of use in here, but I... I don't remember her at all. I'm going to throw her away because she's been in the bottom of a pile for like ever. Okay, Mira Beauty Co. Envy. I'm so sad that they closed drawers. Oh. Uh... Okay, this is actually still soft in the pan. I'm going to keep that. I may, I may surprise HP and use it. Now I've got glitter all over my fingers. That was not smart. Okay. Flawless in real life foundation. I think this is actually a shade too light for me. But, oh, no, no, no. Okay, so this is a shade too dark. So I think I actually got a lighter one to mix with it. That makes sense. But you know what? Honestly, these are both kind of old. I'm going to throw these away. I have, like, the right shade for me. So I don't need either of these. I have a pair of packaged lashes buried at the bottom of the stack of stuff. I have no idea who they're from, and frankly, they look a little minkish. So I'm going to throw those away. Okay. The Abyss. Uh, this launched like last Christmas, so this isn't actually a year old yet, I don't think. I'm gonna keep a hold of that. Okay. Michaela, Code Orange Lashes from Glamlight. Uh, these are definitely old. This is from her first collection with Glamlight. And frankly, I don't support Michaela anymore because she's been caught lying so many times. And also, um, I kept posting it as Agent Orange instead of Code Orange. Because apparently my brain went to Nom. I don't know. These are going in the trash. Some kind of skincare from Beautylish, and the only things that I bought from Beautylish were Jeffree Star stuff. So I know this is like three years old. Oh my gosh. ABH Foundation. This is definitely very old. That's getting thrown away. <laughs> okay. One size blush. Uh, keeping that, this is actually a recent purchase. Oh, this is the. Uh, Fat ass one. Definitely keeping it. It speaks to me. JD Glow Serious Jelly Gloss. Uh, this is actually a recent purchase. I'm gonna keep that. Laura Geller Spackle Primer. Don't even remember getting this, so that's probably several years old. Oh, the Holy Grail Water Activated Liners. I don't know if water activated liners go bad. Do they? Is there a... Okay, 36 months. So that's three years, right? These are good. These are still good. I'm gonna keep them. Uh, Mich Michaela X Glam Light highlight from the first launch again. That's going in the trash. Retro Wave Extreme Blush Palette. This was my introduction to yellow blush. Loved it. Love these shades. However, this is several years old and I'm going to throw it away. I have other blushes that are pretty similar to these colors, actually. So, bye. Um, Elf, bye. Okay, the Michaela High Fashion Pat 2 collection. This is... I'm gonna throw this away. These are too tiny for me to use, and I have used them, so I'm not giving them away to somebody. Oh, Nomad Studio 54. Again, these have been canceled, or not canceled. These have been discontinued, so I'm holding on to these because I love Nomad so much, and I'm not letting anything go. Uh, Maybelline Baby Skin. I remember I bought this because I was trying to find a dupe for the. Uh, pore primer, but uh, this really wasn't that great of a dupe. I'm not gonna... If I if that had worked, you would have heard all about it, but it wasn't that great. Oh, Fair Beauty! That's just the, uh, the case 
that it came in or whatever. You know what I mean? The, the sleeve, the sleeve. Uh, Glam Light, what is this, Cherry Pie? The pie, okay. This was like their old formula that was actually good, but I only think I used this like maybe a couple of times and I know that this is pretty old. Yeah, this, this is like it was good for like a year and a half, but I think it's definitely been over that, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, Spellbound Beauty. I still follow the owner on Twitter, but like, I don't know what happened. They just like never launched anything else. Like they did like several like palettes and then just stopped doing makeup. I don't know what happened there. And Co. Bella Primavera. Y'all, I loved this palette. I think I used it several times, but um, I don't really support Bella and Co. anymore. <laughs> we privately called her Alibaba and Co. For a reason. All right. Oh, loud and proud. It's an old CXC palette. Just probably swimming around here somewhere. Um, ha, mini conspiracy. That's going in the trash for sure. Uh, she's got Solstice from ColourPop. I don't even remember this, so it probably launched years ago. This, this is a really like neutrally palette. What? What convinced me to buy this? That is not me. Am I okay? What? Truly, madly, deeply? I don't think I ever even did a look with this. I think I bought this at like TJ Maxx. Or maybe I bought it one of the few times that I actually like went to Ulta, which is like a two year... Uh, the nearest Ulta is like a two hour drive away from me, so I don't get to shop there very often. Um, this is super old though. This was like back when I didn't have the backdrop and all that and I was faced like the other way. So when I was filming, you saw my bathroom behind me. If you're an OG, <laughs> this is that old. We're throwing it away. Uh, take me back to Brazil from BH Cosmetics. This, again, is super, super old. But I remember not being very mad at this, though. Like, it was super cheap, but it did a good job. But very old. We're going to get rid of that. I guarantee you this is at least three or four years old. That's going in the trash. Doing a weight check to make sure I'm not overloading this. Um, again, super old. It's going away. Uh, we have some old Burberry. I wonder if these still smell good. I doubt it. I kind of just want to Oh, no. Mm -mm, that's not too long. But that was my second one, so I must have really liked that Burberry touch. You have to remember that. Apparently, I really enjoyed it. Okay, so we've got some cheap glue sticks. I think this is when I like first started trying to glue my brows down. Word of advice, get the Elmer's. It's worth it. <laughs> the cheap ones did nothing, honey. Nothing. Uh, Wicked Artistry, Vile, I still cannot say this, Kelly. I cannot say it, Vile, Violicious, Violacious, Vi, this is old and I'm going to get rid of it, but I remember I could never say that right, <laughs> ever, 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 and I still can't. Okay, Rose Blush, I remember getting that in an ice cream box, so that is still good. Uh, my Cheeky Threesome Blushes from Kim Chi Chic. Still use these, love these. I haven't used them in a while. I've been using more like CXC blushes, but I do really like those. Speaking of CXC, here's their liquid highlighter. We're gonna keep that. And the Luminescence highlighter and one of their blush palettes. We're keeping these. Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey. I think I got this in a boxy charm. I think I remember liking it, but I'm not sure how long it's been sitting over here. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, looks by Sounds Like Tara. Oh, this is old too. Yeah, I remember that one, but again, it's old, so we're gonna get rid of it. It's no shade to Tara at all. Love her, but this is old and it's gotta go. Give Highlighter. Y'all, I never even featured this on the channel because it was so disappointing that I just did something else over it. This is going in the trash. I absolutely hated this. If you like a more like very subtle, like natural looking highlight, this is your girl, but I'm very unnatural. So no. 
Oh, for concealer, we're keeping that. That's still good. Uh, the Hello Kitty Pixie Collab. This blush was really pretty, actually, but I never use it, so I'm going to throw it away. My CXC Bronzer, Cheeky Blush, and Pumpkin Spice Blush. Definitely holding on to these. Okay. Aesthetica? Oh, it's like a bronzer, too. Well, that's like a little more, like, weird toned for me. I don't... I don't know how long that's been sitting there, and I don't think it's gonna work for me. Um, Elf, this is really old, and it's Elf. Bye. Oh, Kimchi. Oh, Pearl's Gone Wild. I knew I had this, and I haven't seen it in like a minute. This is gorgeous. Like, she still got. Okay, she's gone hard pan. I'm gonna have to taper, but like, oh, that is such a pretty highlight. Especially after you get it not hard pan and you layer it up. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Like taco lashes. I, yeah, I've used these. I've used these and they're just not really my style anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them. Then I have some single shades from ColourPop. Wait, are these? You know what? I think this is from the mystery box. And I remember like they sent me two of the same shade. <laughs> it was obvious they were just trying to get rid of what was left in the factory. We're gonna get rid of that. Star Gem Translucent Setting Powder. Now I might actually keep this to like help block my brows. Uh, ColourPop Lippy. Again, I don't know how old that is. Complexion Duo Brush from e.l.f. I'm actually going to hold on to this, not because I like e.l.f., but like you never know when I'm going to need something like this. Especially when I do wacky makeup. Okay, so we got my Bare Beauty Moscato Highlighter. This is still that girl. I'm, I'm holding on to her. Uh, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. That's definitely going in the trash. Um, I think... It was either this or one of her lippies I used on Instagram, and they asked if they could feature me, and then they never did, and I'm kind of okay with that now. Uh, Moonlit Glow Highlighter from Star Gem Cosmetics. This was my collab with them. Is this one of the broken ones? Yeah, it's one of the broken ones, but uh, it was so pretty. Like a light purple with gold shift. That was my idea, and she, they, they ran with my idea and made it happen, and I was so happy. I done. I don't think I've ever used that actually. That could come in handy for some of the mermaidy looks that I like to do. I'm gonna hold on to that actually. <gasps> the CXC Nefertiti collab. Oh my god. I'm not getting rid of that. I love Brandon. Like, oh, this this highlighter right here that I hit really hard. You can tell. Loved it. Obsessed. So we're keeping that. Mm -hmm. It's a lash holder. And you know what? Here's a lash. Literally stuck to my desk. It pulled part of my uh, desk up off with it. So <laughs> some good lash glue, I guess. I got some black rhinestones. I really don't do rhinestones very often. I really don't. I have a bunch of different colors, but I never use them. I'm just not into it. It's too much. It's too much work. <laughs> okay. Lash brush. You never know when I'm going to need one of those. I was digging around for one the other day, actually, so gonna hold on to that. My other Ofra highlight, I or not highlight, concealer. I didn't know where it was for the For Art's Sake Stellar. It was like their Van Gogh collection, but it's literally all shimmers, and I hated that it was all shimmers. This is really old. We're gonna throw that away. Elf Contouring Palette. That's gonna go away. Oh, Nomad. This is like a blush slash highlighter. Keeping that for sure. Bliss Beauty. Okay, this is a contour. Um, probably gonna let this go just because the CXC contour is like the perfect shade for me. Jeffree Star Mirror. I might actually see if someone wants this because there's no sense in throwing away a perfectly good hand mirror. But I don't support Jeffree anymore. But I may find someone that would want that. Uh, NYX. Oh, okay, these are like jelly eyeshadows. These are probably super old, but they're really pretty. I don't know if they still make these, but I also don't really remember if I liked them or not. <laughs> I'm going to throw both of them away, though, because I don't know how old those are. Definitely old, though. And some Jeffree Star setting powder. Ooh, Misty G glitter. I don't, I think I used this maybe in one look. going to hold on to that. 
Uh, Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. Why did I buy such a dark shade? What? That is... <laughs> That's going in the trash. I don't even know why I did that. Okay, here's like another... This is a highlighter. Definitely keeping her. Okay, this is like the loose pigment version of my highlight. We're gonna, we're gonna keep that one. I've got most concealer, but it's very like yellow in tone. I'm gonna throw that away. I don't know how old it is, and also why did I buy it that color? Uh, eyeshadow primer from Elf. That's going away. What is this? Okay, an eye primer and a CoverGirl. This is from when I first started the channel. Oh my god, <laughs> that's going away. What have we got back here? Oh my god. The Alien palette. You guys, I loved this palette. Like, I need someone non-problematic to dupe this color story, please, because I was obsessed. Especially with, like, the Alien shimmer. That, like, neon green shimmer. Oh my god. So good. It's, like, reaching its weight limit for what I can put in it before it, like, starts stretching. So we're gonna call it quits, and that was only, like, half of my desk, guys. We're gonna be at this a while. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye!